FMU, you're on the air. Hello, Tom. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. Who's this? This is the God of Thunder. The God of the God of Thunder. Himself. Or should you, I say his very self? You mean Gene Simmons? How do you do? Oh my god, wow, this is exciting. How I are know, you? I know it is. Oh, okay. How are you tonight, sir? How am I? I I'm on I'm on Cloud Nine, of course. I'm always on Cloud Nine though. Oh, well, that sounds fantastic. Do you know why? Why is that? Because I have the ultimate life. You have the, uh... I guess your life is pretty much... Better than yours. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, well, okay, that's okay. You know, I guess I, I enjoy my life. Modesty is, 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 is not my greatest feature. Okay, well, uh... Tell us a little bit about your life, just to give a little insight. Well... <laughs> Actually, I'm sure most of your listeners got a glimpse of my, my life last night. And where would they have gotten a glimpse of your life? Uh, on their television set, Tom. The same place you saw it. What? How did I didn't see TV last night. You didn't watch Simmons Family Jewels? My new show on A&E? I heard about that. No, I didn't watch it. Why didn't, why didn't you make time to watch it, Tom? Because I was doing something else. Okay. What could be more important than me? Um... Seeing a friend. Okay, well, friends will always be there. Gene Simmons may not always be there in the flesh, but, of mm -hmm. course, the, the myth, the legend will always live on. You're right. There is a chance that Gene Simmons will not be on my TV. Small. We're, we're trying to make that a smaller and smaller chance as, as huh. time goes by. But anyway, I can't believe you didn't see it, because had you seen it, you would have been privy to some of the best programming that's ever been on television. Uh, can you give us, like, a, a, just a basic uh, synopsis? Well, or? basically, Simmons Family Jewels, we follow myself and my family. It's kind of like the Osbournes on steroids, but with more coherence. That's a big word, coherence. Yes, it is. Well, it's not that big of a word. It's but... pretty big for your listeners. <laughs> okay. And you. I'm mm -hmm. kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, well, I'm it... just, I'm just, just, uh, I'm just so proud of the show we got. We got the ratings. It was fabulous. Great. Uh, Great numbers. I guess it's that legendary Gene Simmons sense of humor. That's right. That's right. Oh. Basically, the show is you get to follow me and my family for 24-7 at uh, Chase Simmons. Uh, my lovely, uh, not wife, my, my lady Shannon. That's right. My daughter Sophie and my son Nick. So it's, it's following the four of you. That's right. So it's kind of like that Hulk Hogan show. Oh, don't. <laughs> Please don't bring up any other reality shows. There's only one from here on out. So there's only your show from this point on? SFJ, yes. Oh, Simmons Family Jewels, okay. So so that's going great, and of course, I, of course, as you all know, the, uh, the Kiss Cafe is doing blockbuster based business also. The Kiss Cafe, what is that? Wait, what? <laughs> it's, it's almost like you haven't been in front of any sort of media device in the last two weeks. Um, well, where where is the Kiss Cafe? It's in Myrtle Beach. Oh, okay, you're right. How could I not have known about that? Well, you're the one who's missing out on all, all those great Kiss, uh, Kiss Uccinos and Cafe Kiss Leches. They're is flying out of the store. So uh, you have a Kiss Uccino? Oh, of course we do, yes. And a Cafe Kiss Leche. And that those are just kind of like Starbucks type coffee things. Wait, what? No, no, it's completely original. <laughs> it sounds very original. I think it does. And we're also going to be introducing twenty-five new products in the next five months, including the Dew Mocha Mint Smoothies, the Forever, which is the sixty-two ounce coffee, and the Cadillac Dreams Espresso. And those are also I know Deuce. I know that song, Forever. Of course what you is... do. Who'd... Who doesn't know Deuce that should be the national anthem? Get up, get up and get your grandma out of here. What is, uh... I think Francis Scott Key, when he, when he wrote the uh, national anthem, that's, that's what he had in mind. Mm -hmm. But he had to tweak it a different way. Okay. Now, uh, what is Forever? Is that a Kiss song also? I have a question for you, son. Yes? You have a program on a radio station that plays rock and roll. That's right, yes. And you don't 
don't know what forever is by Kiss? Um, not, no, I don't. Probably the greatest power ballad ever unleashed on the public. It's one of Paul's songs. Okay. Yeah, I played bass on and, and I didn't play bass on it either, but I, I was in the video. And when is that from? Pardon me? That's Odd in the Shade. Oh, okay. Well, how could I not know? Uh, That's what uh, Cadillac Dreams is on also. That's one of mine. Okay, that's. I guess that's not surprising. That sounds kind of like one of your, one of your tunes. Guess what uh, you get with the Cadillac Dreams espresso. Um, I have no idea. Well, there's a Cadillac logo on the uh, side of the cup. Okay. And uh, inside the uh, the logo is my tongue. It's a picture of my tongue. Wow, who wouldn't want to drink that? That's what I'm asking. I should, I, should, I should say that I do sign every cup that we use in the store. Really? So pe oh. people get the cup and they can kind of, like, while they're drinking it, they can admire your signature? No, they've got to finish the drink. The, the, the signature is actually on the inside bottom of the cup. <laughs> so you're signing the inside bottom of each cup? Yes. Why? Well, can I, can I ask what you're signing it with? A, a sharpie, you know, one of those. Uh, it, it's actually a kiss sharpie. It, uh, it's silver, and it's got that kind of sparkly silver kind of tint to it. Okay, and you're signing Great. the inside of a cup that people are drinking from. Oh yes. So you have no concern about anybody, kind of like drinking, the residue of a like a sparkly silver marker put into a thing uh, like a cup with a hot beverage. Well, there's been no complaints yet. Uh, I, I. Uh... I think everything's going to be fine with that, don't you? I I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I have not run any any uh, any health tests on that. Okay. Well, we've run some, and everything's been more or less okay. More or less. Yes. Uh, what well, what might be the less? We don't need to get into that, do we? Well, that's uh, that's I was just asking. Okay. Well, there's so, some instances of uh, HS here and there. HS. Yes. What what does that stand for? Heart stuff. But what's that? Heart stoppage. Heart stoppage. Yeah. Why? So, so the ink from the from the sharpie marker yes. is making people's hearts stop. How? I I, I want to know how that's happening. Well, it's when they have the frozen frozen kiss of chinos on a stick. Mm hmm I sign the sticks also. So you end up with that kind of kind of. Getting a kind of melange with the uh, the, the mocha, etc., and it turns into a sort of a thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I got, I should let everybody know we have. This is pretty exciting. Gene Simmons is on the line, who's the star of the new uh, the new show. What is it called again? You don't even know what it's called. You can't. You can't even remember. What are you on? Are you on the on the pot? <laughs> no, I'm not on the pot. Kiss. Okay. Simmons family. Jewels. Okay, Kit. Okay, Kit. Not not Kiss family jewels. Simmons well, family. Well, basically, I am Kiss, but okay. You need to go into that. And that is on what A and E. That's right. Okay, so it's everyone's fantasy to have a show, I think, and I've I've realized that dream twice. I'm sorry. It was everybody's what fantasy. Fa fantasy. That's what I said. Can you say it again? Fantasy. Fa fantasy. Okay. Okay. That's, is that how you say it? I that's, didn't... How, that's how I live it. Listen, Tommy. Yes, uh, uh, Gene? I have an uh, ulterior motive for calling you. Okay. What, what, what is that? That's a, It's not surprising. Actually, I, th I thought you'd maybe be calling up just to promote. But well, that's... Uh, oh. <laughs> you know me better than, than some other people do, I guess. I don't know. So what what is your uh, your ulterior motive? I, I I need a little bit of help. Uh, I need your services. Okay. Well, I know you didn't. You claim you didn't see it last night, but I'm, I'm imagining ninety five percent of your listeners saw it last night. On the show, uh, I was helping my son Nick get his band together. Okay. And I came up with a great name and a great logo for the band. And what is what is the band called? Chrome. Chrome. Yes. You mean like the band from the late '70s? Chrome. Well, n that's what Nick brought up also, and uh, so that the name already existed. And I told him that as long as that band did not copyright it, all is fair in love, sex, and rock and roll. Mm -hmm. 
and he seemed upset about it, so he he wanted to change the name. And so I did change the name for his big show at the the Roxy. Okay. I changed it to Nick Simmons and the Electric Chairs. It's a great name, isn't it? Nick Simmons and the Electric Chairs. Yes. You mean like Wayne County or Jane County and the Electric Chairs? Well, that leads me to my next order of business. Today I get emails from fans and of this Ishii named Jane Wayne County. Yes. Saying that he, she owns the name. And uh, I, I do have a vague uh, memory of Jane Wayne from the old Max's days. And I, I can't say I recall that being the name of the band, but uh, if so, I, I, know, I doubt that uh, Jane Wayne trademarked it. So, so you'd I, be willing, you're, you're trying to just kind of snake the name then? I don't snake any. The only thing I snake, well, oh, okay. we need to get to that. Yeah, exactly. Goodbye. I, I've also gotten these emails from this psycho. Uh-huh. He, helium Creed. Hel Helios Creed? I don't, I don't know. But he, he said he was in this band called Chrome in the 80s. That's right, yes. Yep, he was. Here's what I need from you. Uh-huh. All right, this I got to hear. You're kind of into this whole street rock scene, right? Yes, the street rock scene street. is is where I, I uh, make my bones. That's where you... Like, you're with the people, right? Yes. You're out there working, selling hot dogs during the day, and then at night you do your... Well, I, I don't radio sell... Radio show. I, I don't sell hot dogs for a living, but... Really, you sound like a hot dog vendor to me. Oh, okay, well, I, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's an the honest living. Your voice screams hot dog salesman. The what? The, t the timber of your voice. It screams hot dog salesman. Hot dog, yes. Okay, well, I'm not. You're, You've you're never wrong. been told that before? I, I, no, I have not. That's, that's, huh. That's, that's quite shocking to me. I have not been told I have the timber of a hot dog salesman. Well, get used to it. Okay. So. <laughs> get used to it. You should get used to it. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do what I can. So, so here's, you... Here's, here's what I want to do. I need, I need you to do. So, yes, I'm, I'm part of the street rock community. As, okay, you like all that kind of bad music, right? Yes, all the bad stuff. Okay, I want you to contact this Helios Creed mm -hmm. and Jane Wayne. And okay. I want you to tell them that in exchange for them giving up the rights to their names, uh -huh. I will send each of them a My Dad the Rockstar DVD box set signed by yours truly. And what is My Dad the Rockstar? Oh, my God. It's like you you haven't been breathing for the last three years. What it well, no. It's an, an, I, it's an animated series that I've developed. Okay. I, I where, where I am I? I you haven't been to Canada recently. I actually was in Canada recently. And you didn't see it up there? I uh, did not. What channel is it on? It's one of the Canadian networks, Canadian TV. I, CNBC. C. CNBC. C. Yeah. Okay, I missed. I, I missed the. Uh, I did not watch a whole lot of CNBC C it's, up it's there. It's great. It's great. You've got to see it. Um, okay, well, I well, missed it. I was there for a week. Well, you you got to con contact these people and tell them that this is a deal. They get that. I will also throw in a pair of Kiss ice chests. Kiss. What is an uh, an ice chest like a cooler? It's styrofoam, yes, but it's painted black and red. It has, oh. fl has flames upon it. Okay, so they get a kiss, uh, a kiss cooler. That's right. Yes. Okay. And a, bot a half bottle, more like a, a half carafe of uh, Kiss Merlot. A half carafe. You're not even going to give a bottle. Hey, I'm not made out of money. Well, yes, I am sort of. But <laughs> oh, speaking of. Hang yes. On. Uh huh. Hang on. Oh yeah. Ugh. I had to rearrange the old wallet. Wait, oh, <laughs> you had to what? What? I had to rearrange the old wallet. You had to rearrange your wallet. Yeah. And wh why is that? Well, because it was it's so thick that it was just kind of, uh, I was having a hard time sitting upon it. You're ha <laughs> That's how much money you have in it? That's, well, yeah, yes, there's a lot of cash in there, and there's also checks and, of course, those KISS Visa cards. <laughs> like you, the very low APR. You have checks in your wallet. Of course I do. Like checks that you write to people or checks that no, you've checks that I've received for royalties, uh, for, you know, licensing fees, that sort of thing. Like, well, what kind of checks do you have? Well, let me, I'll dig some out right now. 
I'm not going to say who who they're from, but you know, here's one for for uh, a pro- product that I've just uh, sold. Okay. Kiss baseball bats. Kiss baseball bats. Yes. Because what? Who, who? When when people think of Kiss, who doesn't think of athletics? Well, you've totally nailed our marketing campaign. I, I think of. Did you, did you see the brief? I did not see that. That's the exact slogan. <laughs> say it again. I love it when you say it. What well, I, I who doesn't think of uh, when they think of Kiss? Who doesn't think of athletics? Love it. You know, the you wouldn't thing, pose for a little picture. No, no. Holding the bat, would you? I, no, probably not. No. Why not? Probably. Um. Okay. No, when I actually think of Kiss, I think of uh, great rock and roll. Um. Actually, the image that pops into my mind is a a fat. Guy in his uh, early forties. Hey, Peter has not been in the band for no, not a year now. Not not Peter. No, I'm talking about you and you. Don't talk about Ace like that. He's no, I'm, he's I'm like a brother to me. We have sure we've had our differences, but you know, we're brothers and we can work it out. So those guys aren't even in Kiss anymore. No. Who is? Who, who, whoever whoever is in Kiss at the moment is in Kiss right now. It's of course it's me and Paul. Uh huh. Um, Eric. Eric, okay. Eric Singer. who? Eric Singer. Okay, Eric Singer. And Roger. Roger. Yes. Who is Roger? Ro- Roger Zirkel. Roger Zirkel. Yeah. So, Eric Singer is a drummer. Right. So Roger Zirkel, what does he plays guitar? He plays guitar. Yes. And is, is he in Ace makeup? Of course he is. So Ace is not in the band anymore, but oh, you no. have, you have a guy named Roger Zirkel playing. Yes. And w- where did you find Roger Zirkel? Uh, at Manny's. What is Manny's? Manny's Music Store. <laughs> oh, you, you, and uh, what what was he doing at Manny's? He was selling me bass strings. Why? Okay, so there was an employee of a, of a music store. That's who, correct. Who you hired away to play in this kiss? That's correct. Yes. Okay. It's kind of you. Kind of don't picture that. He's great, though. I mean, as soon as we get the red hair taken care of, it'll be great. So he's got red hair. Short red hair, yes. Okay, maybe you put a black wig on him. Probably yes. Because you don't have any of those around. Oh God, no. No, yeah, no one in Kiss would know where to get a black wig. Hello. That's correct. Yes. Okay. I don't need this tool from you. I could buy and sell you in a heartbeat. As a matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm going to buy your show right now. You're going. <laughs> you're I'm, going talk, to... I'm, I'm in co- I'm in talks with your uh, your station owner right now to buy this program. To, to buy just your show. I will leave every other show alone, but I will buy your show. And for how long are you on? For three hours? Yes, it's a three-hour program. Let's call it the Gene Simmons. Writing this all down right now just because I, I get ideas and I have to write them down because I have so many of them. Gene Simmons, three hour fun time. And what would that show consist of? I will be of? talking about all kinds of great things. Uh, you know, like what? Stock options. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a real fun time. A little bit of music. Uh huh. Talking about all the bands that I love. Like what bands do you love? Oh, all the new bands. Like who? D Generation. I love them. Uh huh. I love the Nixons. The Nixons. Yes. <laughs> the, I I kind of forgot about them. Oh, they're great. They just opened for us. Wow, that, that's a that's well, a. In '96 they did. Okay, well that's a that's ten Seems years. Seems like yesterday to me. Yeah, well it's ten years ago. Oh. What other bands? Oh geez, love. Uh, what's the guy? The guy that looks like us. The guy who looks like you, Insane Clown Posse. They're great. Ugh. The other guy that looks like us. The other guy who looks yeah. like you. Who, Slipknot? Uh, he's great, too. I have no idea who... The other who... guy, uh, Marilyn Manson. Oh, okay, yeah. He's great. Yeah, he's very relevant, very vital. Oh, oh I don't like you. I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do? What's that, Gene? I'm going to crush you. You're going to crush me? With my wallet. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do? What's that? Before I crush you with the wallet, mm-hmm. I'm going to open the wallet up. Okay. Okay. I'm going to completely engulf your head in the wallet. 
Now, how big is this wallet? It's three foot by four foot. Why? You have a three foot by four foot wallet. Of course I do, because of all the cash that I carry. And how much cash do you have on you at any given time? At any given time, I've probably got about $75,000. <laughs> In cash? Yes. Why? Because you never know when you're going to need it. To purchase things, to shower gifts upon a young, lovely lady. Ugh. Hire a killer. Oh, okay. A hire a killer. Have you ever hired, what, like your character? There's always a first. There's always a... And I think that time is rapidly approaching, my son. For what? For me to get killed? Oh, I don't know. Somebody. Who are you going to send after me? Roger Zirkel? No, I have a I have a lead on a fellow that I think could do, do the job. Who's that? His name is Ruttiger. Ruttiger? Yes. Huh. Yeah. And I know that name. Well, he's the brother of another guy that I was going to hire, but... Uh, and what was that guy's the name? Super bad dude. What's his name? His name's Werner. Vern. Okay, that's the name I know. So that's his brother. Yes, his younger brother. Looks the same though. He looks like he. Um, I think I saw him at at my work. He's kind of got blonde hair. Yeah, he's got a black mustache. With a black. Like Rutger Hauer, sort of. Yes, he looks yeah. like Rutger Hauer in. Yeah. Uh... The Hitchhiker. Yes. But oh. with the black mustache. Yes, that's yeah. right. He's a bad dude. His younger brother's even badder from what I've heard. I've heard. So I, I should watch out for those two brothers. You know what I'm going to do? What's that? Since I've got the dough. Uh huh. Might do a little, uh, little uh, German sandwich on your face. And your what? face being the meat and the the Germans being the bread. Oh, so you would get them. My wallet being the uh, the I don't know the. What would you call it? The, uh, do you, do you call that like a, uh, I don't know, the, the condiment, I guess. It wouldn't be a condiment because it would be more like a, pi a big pickle. Your wallet would be like the pickle. Yes. The condiment would be like a, uh, I don't know. I guess your blood would be the condiment because it would be sort of ketchup -y. Okay. You've really given this a lot of thought, haven't you? I'm, I'm working. I'm, I'm always... I'm always sketching. I've got a sketch of it going right now. Maybe you could work this into season two of Kiss Family Jewels. You know what I'm going to, I'm going to work it into? What's that? I'm going to do your eulogy. You're, you're going, I'm to, going to work it into that. You're going to do my eulogy. Of course I am. And I think what, that would be a big thrill for your family. What might that consist of? Oh well, I would, I would first of all I would pull up there and I would wait. To, yeah, I'd keep the keep your family waiting, of course. Then I'd show up in the limo and there'd be smoke coming out because I would have hired some sort of pyro. Okay. Person to do it and uh, come out there, and I would say greetings. We're here to bury a guy with a very big mouth. Thought that he thought he was a very big man. He was sadly mistaken. Oh yes, though his mouth was big, his brain was small. He thought that he could he could run with the big dogs, the big demons, I should say. He was wrong. He paid the price. Now I will be selling autographs for $35 an autograph over here by this headstone. <laughs> so you're going to be doing that at my funeral? Of course I will. But I feel bad for you because during the autograph session, people are going to vacate your little ceremony. and uh, Because they'll be so interested in getting your autograph. And pawing themselves, yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> it's going to be a whole scene. And, of course, it, it will be filmed. And what what is it filmed for? For the next season. The next season of of, uh, of Kiss Family Jewels. It's not Kiss Family Jewels. It's Simmons Family Jewels, you cretin. Oh, well, I think the word's cretin. You're a dirty cretin. I think the word's cretin. I think you're wrong. I think you need to go to rock school. Oh, well, I need to go to rock school? Yes, and I will be your teacher. You mean like that other awful show you had on TV? Wait, what? Yes, that was, what, I don't even know what that was. How dare you? <laughs> you had that show was so bad. Those it was where you taught those kids in that school how to rock, and they I, all and hated I did. you. And they they all, learned. They learned well, just like you'll learn. Every one of the kids couldn't stand you. Oh, they loved me. I've gotten several cards and Christmas greetings from a couple of those kids. 
<laughs> and there were like a dozen of them, and you've gotten a couple cards. Of course, I feel yes. Wow, I guess more more power to you. Hey, where town. do you live? Um, I live in a town called Newbridge. Okay, well, consider yourself banned. From what? Where do you think? I I have no idea. GST. G S T. Gene Simmons Toyota. I don't oh. want to see you ever set foot on my lot. Okay. If you do, mm -hmm. you know what's going to happen? What's that? I have an axe base back there behind the uh, the counter. So I'll I have to I'll have to deal with that. All I ask you, don't clog up my pickups with your blood. I'll I'll try not to. Okay. Th Promise me. Um. I pr I promise. Well, I mean, I'm never setting foot on your stupid you car dealership. I, I know it's like it's like a magnet to you, kids. What is your car dealership? My lot, yes. Yeah, oh, I can't. Oh, you like I like to come there and drink your beers. It's sickening. Yeah, I'm Most sorry. Your doobies. I've never gotten high in my life. You really are. Uh, you're really one of a kind. You're really. That's so, right. So you're taking a moral stand. Of course, you, I am. Because you've never gotten high, even though you lived just this gross life. What's gross about my life? Your book of photos of all your conquests. Oh, have you seen it? Uh, no, I've heard That's about right. it. I haven't seen it. It's only for the privileged few. I heard it's disgusting. It is not disgusting. What's disgusting about a woman? Oh. <laughs> okay. Man, the phones keep cutting out at the the weirdest times.